Hi Yogi, it's Bri, and welcome to Beginner Flexibility. So many people don't think they can do yoga because they lack flexibility, when really yoga helps to build that flexibility in your body. Really, it brings balance the more that you do it. So that's exactly what we're going to do in this class. Work on your flexibility. Please make sure that you have two blocks, a strap and a blanket, or a bolster would work as well. And let's get started. Let's get started standing in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Make sure that your feet are hips distance apart just to give yourself a little more stability. And let's work on our shoulders and our upper body, creating some space there in places where we hold a lot of tension. Inhale, take your hands, turn them out and sweep them all the way up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in as you lengthen through the sides of your waist. And as you exhale, draw your ribs and your navel in engaging your core. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand and pull up so the shoulder blade lifts and over towards the side. So still facing the front of your mat and just finding a nice stretch in that entire right side body. Drive down through both of your heels, lengthen up and over a little bit more. Keeping your right hand where it is, just drop your left hand down to the side of your, to the left side of your body and turn the right pinky back just slightly, finding a bit of space in the shoulder. Maybe sliding that left hand down a little bit more. And inhale, lift back up, left arm reaches up as well. Switching sides, drawing the ribs and navel in, grabbing a hold of your left wrist with your right hand, pulling up first so the shoulder blade elevates and then over towards the right. Possibly feeling this around the ribs, underneath the shoulder blade and all the way down into that left side waist. Root down through your heels, drop your right hand down. Turn that left pinky back and stretch over just a little bit more. Drive down through your feet, inhale, reach the arms back up. As you exhale, once again, ribs and navel in. This time your right hand is gonna tap behind or between your shoulder blades, so right underneath your neck, and your left hand is gonna grab a hold of your right elbow. Pull that right elbow behind your head as much as you can. You'll notice your ribs flare out. Keep firming the inner thighs in and the navel in. Push your head back into that right elbow, feeling this line of the tricep down into the serratus here begin to stretch. A lot of us who can't straighten our arms straight up overhead are tight along this line. And if you want to add in a little bit more, you can turn or side bend over towards the left, stretching a bit deeper into that right side body. Mm, feels so good. Inhale, reach the arms back up. One more time, as you exhale, draw your ribs and navel in, just to ensure that your body's in a nice, neutral, stabilized position. Take your left hand, tap underneath the neck between the shoulder blades. Take your right hand to your left elbow and pull the elbow behind your head and slightly over towards the right. From here, firm the inner thighs in to make sure your pelvis doesn't end up in this little dumping position. Lift the heart up and maybe over towards the right one more time. Feeling that wonderful stretch all the way from the elbow, quite possibly, if you're feeling it in the tricep right here, all the way down towards the lats, the serratus, the muscles in between the ribs. And then inhale, reach your arms back up one more time. This time, turn your hands out so your thumbs are forward and sweep your hands behind your back. I'm sure that feels good with the arms overhead for so long. Interlace your fingers and make sure to press your palms together, squeezing the palms all the way in, straightening the arms so the knuckles draw down, but keeping a micro bend in your elbows. Root down through your heels, little bend in the knees, and as you press the knuckles down, lift your chest up. Really feeling the front of your shoulders, the anterior delts, those are the fronts of your shoulders, maybe even into your chest, the pecs, major and minor. Begin to stretch. Good. Inhale. Little bend in the knees as you exhale, fold over the thighs. Let your hands drop down towards the ground. 
The deeper the bend in the knees, the more you can fold your torso over your thighs. If you're feeling extra tight and you're really, really rounded, your torso is more parallel to the ground, put that big bend in your knees. Take your fingertips onto the ground and heel toe your feet out as wide as your mat. Make sure the pinky toe edges of your feet line up with the edges of your mat. Grab a hold of opposite elbows and just let everything in the upper body, the head, the neck, the shoulders, the torso hang down. If you're feeling like you want a little more sensation, some stretch sensation in the legs, begin to lift the kneecaps up. Lift the quadriceps, the muscles in the front of the thighs up until they're toned. And shift just a little bit of weight forward into the balls of your feet. And boom, you'll feel a deeper stretch in the calves and in the hamstrings. And if it's more of a stretch in the torso, the muscles that line your spine that you're looking for, think about breathing length into uh, the muscles around the spine and the crown of the head gets a little closer to the ground. Then from here, take your fingertips underneath your shoulders, inhale to a flat back. If you can't reach the ground in this flat back, put a bend in your knees and heel toe your feet back to hips distance. If that's too narrow, you can just be a little bit wider than hips distance and then fold once again grabbing a hold of opposite elbows, and now maybe feeling the stretch a little bit more in the belly of your hamstring muscles, right? That'll help every time you change your foot position, it'll change where you feel the stretch. And in this variation, you can sway your torso from side to side. You might even feel a stretch into the side body once again, but a little bit lower than our shoulder stretches. Most of us, when we're starting out, we shift a lot of weight back into the heels because that'll avoid a deep stretch. I'd rather you shift weight forward into the balls of the feet and put a little bend. That'll get the stretch into the right place. Now, one more variation here. I know you've been here a bit. Take your fingertips underneath your shoulders, find a flat back. I want your hands on the ground. So if you can't quite get there with the legs straight, Bend them and heel toe your feet until the big toes touch and there's a little space between your heels. Put a bend in your knees, enough so that your ribs might be able to fold over your thighs. If you're still hovering a little bit, bend the knees quite a lot. Grab a hold of your ankles, forearms behind the shins or the calves, I should say, and just work your legs towards a, enough of a straight leg until you feel a stretch around the glutes, usually in the upper glutes. Don't pull yourself down, just holding your ankles or maybe your hands on the mat, just so you have a stabilizing element to the pose. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, draw your navel in. Now inhale to a flat back. Exhale, step back into tabletop position. So we've worked on the shoulders, all of the different muscles around the shoulders, even the triceps opening. We've worked on the muscles that line the spine, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, all in about under 10 minutes. Now let's work a little bit more on the front and the back of the body. In your tabletop position, index fingers forward, grip firmly with the fingertips and root down through the base knuckles. Knees underneath your hips, knees about hips distance apart. Now take an inhalation, drop your chest down towards the elbows, lift the sits bones up high and begin to pull your chest through the gateway of the shoulders, feeling your abdominal muscles stretch, but also feeling the back muscles warm up and strengthen. Exhale round, spread the shoulder blades wide. You'll feel the front body contract, but you'll feel all of the muscles from the base of the neck down towards the tailbone begin to stretch as you draw the tailbone down. Two more times like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale round. One more time, big breaths. And exhale round. Focusing more on what's lengthening here. And then inhale to a neutral spine. Sit back onto your heels. Bring your feet together into Vajrasana. 
one part of our body that we don't really think about um, finding flexibility in is our wrists and our forearms. But it's so important for us yogis because we're always in wrist extension. So we use this position of our wrists all of the time. There's only one pose, which is called Padahastasana, when you step on your hands that you're actually going into wrist flexion. So letting you know, especially as a beginner, that it's important to balance out the other direction. In turn, finding flexibility in the front of the hand and the front of your uh, forearms, your wrist extensors, okay? So make a fist with your right hand, send it out in front of you, and begin to flex at the wrist. That means you're pulling it in. So not this way, but this way. Then take the palm of your left hand into the back of your right hand and continue to keep a fist as you press forward and straight. So you're trying to flex like flexing your bicep, flex your right wrist as much as possible. And you should feel the front of the hand, all those muscles open up. You should feel the extensors in the front of your forearm. It feels really nice. Inhale. And exhale, release. Just making circles one way and then the other way. And we'll do the other side. Making a fist with your left hand, flex the fist like you're flexing your bicep, and place the front of your left hand into the palm of your right hand. Then press forward so both of your arms straighten, and using your right hand to try to flex the wrist even further, all the while keeping that fist. And if you're wanting even more sensation, you can actually use your hand to make that index finger push in a little bit more. Ooh, that's intense. Take a big breath in, let it go. Open the hand or release it, I should say, keep the fist. Make circles one way. I have Griff behind the camera here doing the same thing. <laughs> the other way, everybody needs some wrist work. So if you're doing this at home, you're not alone. We're doing it with you.